If you look in the manual for get string, you will see that the function cannot be used uh, safely and that it is strongly suggested to use fgetString. Let's write a very simple piece of code to show why getString is not safe. I create a simple struct in which I will put a buffer and then I will use a char as a boolean if the password inserted by the user is correct. At the top I just put a buffer size, let's say of size 5 and a password. I then declare in my main this struct that I call login and I will initialize assigning 0, namely false to the password correct variable and I will initialize the array with all zeros. So I have a clean buffer. Okay, now I simply need a do while loop asking the user for a password. We're gonna exit this loop when the password is correct. Inside the loop, we're gonna prompt the user, please enter the password. After that, we're gonna use the infamous get string function. As you can see, we have a warning function is unsafe and replicated. As an input, we're gonna pass the password buffer of my struct and then we are gonna simply make a string compare between the password given by the user and the real password. Of course I have to use a not because string compare is gonna return me zero if the strings are equal. If the password is correct I'm gonna turn to one the password correct char right that we are using as a boolean. At the very end I'm just printing stuff. Namely, if the password is correct, you just print access granted and the secret message. On the contrary, you just print the password incorrect and you keep looping. That's basically it. A very simple program, right? So I will compile and as you can see, I get a warning telling me that get string is deprecated. To remove this, you can use this flag, no deprecated declaration. Now we launch the program and we can insert our password. Let's say 1111 doesn't work. Choo 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 doesn't work. 4, 2, doesn't work. If I do 1, 3, 3, 7, I get the access. Now I would like to show you that I can insert another password and this will work. I can do 1, 2, 3, 4 stars, doesn't work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yet doesn't work. But if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, boom, I get access granted. And to be clear, I just need 6 chars, whatever chars. I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, boom. Again, I get access granted. I managed with this six chars, wrong passwords to get into. What happens? I have this other piece of code, which is exactly like the previous one. The only difference is that I have this stack view function, which is a routine that is showing us the stack layout of the variables, which are inside the struct so we can understand very well what is going on. I will put this code in the description so maybe you can play around. Okay, let's compile and launch this code. And as you can see, I get this kind of output. Here I have the position of the password correct char, which represents our Boolean value, and the position of the buffer password, right? Here you can see the struct layout, here you get the buffer position and the char position. So if I write, for example, one two, you can see that the password is not correct, right? And here you see the memory layout changing. If I do one two three, I get this. If I do star I get these, right? Every time the buffer is changing, as you can see, the three is still here. But immediately you get the idea why this can be wrong, right? If I do 1337, which is the correct password, enter, I get access guaranteed. You can see that here I have my password and here I get the chart that has changed to a one, right? Now, if I launch again, and I do star, 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 four stars, what happens? You see that I filled the first four slots and now you can see what can go wrong. If I do star, 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 I will reach exactly the char which acts like a Boolean. I do enter and you can see that I have access granted because I've put a star inside the variable password correct. Why? Well, because here I have a buffer overflow right? The get string is not checking the input size. So I am overflowing the buffer, reaching the slot of memory of the variable password correct, which is exactly allowing me to print the information that I want. So this is not changing the password correct variable to one to true. Get string is changing 
this to true simply by a buffer overflow. So you can see that I can very easily enter the system with six chars, whatever chars. I just need to change the value of this simply by the layout in memory of my code. The thing is that every value different from zero is true, right? So long story short, we have to use fgetString. Let's try. Here we have to explicitly tell the size of the buffer. So buffer size and the stream, which is standard input. Now we have a specific limit, which is five, right? In our example, let's try to compile and launch again. Okay, this time I will enter six stars, but this time I didn't manage to get the information. The thing is that here I have the four stars and then I get a truncation here. The loop moved on, right? He called again uh, the fget string and inside the standard input stream, I still have the two missing stars, right? And the new line simply when you press enter. So this is risky as well. You see the problem I can do, for example, uh, fill me the buffer with four stars. So I will put four stars then uh, here I will get the null character and then I simply write the correct password like 1337. Is this gonna work? Enter. And as you can see, I filled with the stars the previous call. Of course, this is not correct. But then fget string has been called again. And now I have in my buffer ex exactly what I need 1337. So with this password, which is not correct, of course, right? The password is this these four stars are not part of the password. I still get the correct thing to access. So we need to clean the string. For that, you can use the fpurge function, which erases any input or output buffer in the given stream. So you do fpurge std in, or if there are some portability issues, you have to implement a cleaning routine by yourself. Now let's try to launch again. And if I do star, 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 one, three, three, seven, this time I don't get a simple access, right? Because the buffer has been cleaned and I have the function fget string that is taking maximum buffer size minus one. So in our specific case, the buffer size is five. That's it. 